Welcome to Friday. I'm Riley, and this week is Childhood Week. It's awesome. I like talking about my childhood, actually, because not that it's interesting, but rather it's entertaining or entertaining, whichever word you rather. When I was a kid, I thought I was the coolest cat on the block. I thought I was the bee's knee, the cat's pajamas, the hip to the hop. I thought I was the bomb daddy. I thought I, like I was just like super popular and I had a lot of friends. In reality, I had like two. Being a kid was ridiculous, and I like look back on my childhoodness all the time, and I think, <sighs> hey, really, what's going on over there? Oh, and if you haven't noticed, I got my braces off, so that's why I'm like, like left with saliva, or like this I'm talking kind of weird, so because I'm a retainer's in. But either way, yes, I know my name is Riley, but everyone calls me really. It's a long story. Don't ask or follow us on Twitter. You figure it out. That's it. Okay, bye. My mom is a good person. My mom um, decided that since the day I was born to like of about three seconds ago. Um, she saved like everything that like she thought was important. So I decided to go through some stuff and I found uh, a lot of stuff I decided I'm going to show you guys. And um, I have a couple stories to tell. So this might take a while but I'll probably do a lot of editing because I'm stupid like that. I like this huge box. This is kindergarten through fifth grade of all kinds of arts and crafts and failed things and great enrichment activities. Yeah, so. And that's it. So, here we go. Okay, so this is a little packet thing that I'm guessing is from kindergarten or so. This is me, or at least my interpretation of me when I was in kindergarten. Um, you can totally see the resemblance. We both have watermelon heads. I totally have rosy cheeks. These two growths upon my upper lip. Oh, the accuracy. And this is my interpretation of my family. Um, for some reason we all wear stilts. said my favorite color was purple, which is ironic because I absolutely despise the color purple, but I just find it funny that I spelled purple P-R-P-O-L. Yeah. Purple. My favorite color is purple. Apparently my favorite TV show and or movie was Animal Planet. So, Animal, spelled with an O, Planet, P-L-A-N-I-T. My pet, or one I would like to have, is dog. And again, when we have the uh, the recurring blue streak for Scott. This is first grade. Um, first grade was a special year, 2002-2003. It was a weird class. Miss McCullough was my teacher. The best thing about her was when she taught me to tell time. Funny thing about that, because um, I don't, I still don't know how to tell time on a clock. Look, it shows me pointing with my teacher at a clock. I still don't know how to read, so good job, Miss McCullough. I made many friends at recess. We like to play on the monkey bars. And there's me hanging from the monkey bars. You know, I don't know why I drew that, because I never did that. I mean, I did. I climbed on top of them because I was afraid to, like, hang upside down. This is from Kindergarten, The Ocean, by Riley Jascola. But I find it hilarious how I spelled ocean, which is spelled O-A-S-H-I-N-E. The O a shine. King Cullen grocery truck. Herpa derp eyes. Switching to the handy cam because my other camera ran out of battery. It's like, we always have to do like write these things that were like, like write steps to do something. So I wrote how to make friends. And it's about the stupidest thing I've ever written, okay? How to make friends. One of my favorite things to do in my spare time is to make friends. You can have fun making friends. You can play with friends. You can even have a sleepover with friends. If you follow my instructions, you can make friends anywhere. First, find a person who is close to you, but you don't talk to them. Second, if that person is in your school, talk to them about what you do and like. Next, call each other and put both moms on the phone to ask for a play date or a sleepover. After, have fun at the play date or sleepover. And finally, repeat these directions for more friends. We used to like, like Wade, like play with action figures, and I play with Barbies, and vice versa. I play with action figures. He didn't play with Barbies. <clears throat> Mateo. When I was younger, um, Wade and I, my brother, Wade, my brother, never knew the internet existed. So when we asked my dad to put us on the computer, he would turn on the computer and put us on Microsoft Word. And up until I was about 10 years old, I didn't think there was anything else on the computer but Microsoft Word. We would just type stuff, like just type for like a really long time. And um, then we decided we would play school with our teddy bears and action figures and Barbies and we'd set them all up. So we would print out like math equations, like we just typed them up, we had like 2 plus 2 and then like print it and like we would just have all these 
papers of math equations. And we would go over to our, um, like, where we set up all, like, the, the bears and whatever and, all, and, and stuff, and we would start teaching them math, and then we would pretend like they were bad kids, and we would start throwing, like, Legos at them and give them detention and kick them into the corner of the closet and whatever. And I, don't, I don't know what was wrong with us. It was a pretty bad school. Uh, we didn't really teach. Like, when we did, we were like, what's two plus two? And then we would pretend like the person goes four, and then we'd be like, wrong answer! And throw stuff at them. We also played this game where we're like, we went into the closet of my of our room because we shared a room, and uh, when we would sit in there, and we had like um, on a we did a lot of stuff with paper, but we like wrote a keypad like on a piece of paper and taped it to the back of the closet door, and we would sit there and pretend to push all the buttons and pretend it was a time machine, and then we would come out and um, we pretended that there was a big TV screen. Um, up in the corner of our room and it came out and like our boss would tell us like who to kill and we had a bunch of nerf guns and we were the biggest nerf fans ever we would go to the mall we would get like seven dollars and we'd be like oh my god we're rich right and we'd, like we go to the mall we go to the, the toy store and we would get all the darts we can find for seven dollars we'll come out with our nerf guns and just start shooting at random stuff in the room pretending we were fighting aliens which is what the boss in the corner of the room had to tell us to do i thought we had like really cool games yep and that's about it i will catch you all later um thank you very much for watching this extremely long episode for no apparent reason um uh, maybe i just think it's long because i'm filming from like two different cameras so whatever i'm sorry like i look so disgusting i always look disgusting but it's friday and i'm like playing with my hair and, and like i always look so bad in my videos but i'm sorry so um yeah uh, I will see you next Friday, and hopefully um, we can have an even cooler topic than talking about my childhood, which is I was babbling on about forever. So, yeah. Um, thank you very much for watching. I'll see you next time on Bro Touch It Means I Love You, and yeah.